What's up, Wins fam? Kyle McMorrow here, and unless you've been living under a rock, then you already know the WWE is in town for the biggest party of the summer, SummerSlam, and I am really excited to be joined by WWE superstar Charlotte Flair. Charlotte, how are you? Good, thanks for having me. No, thanks for being here, and I know you've been in town a few days, and you've got to check out some Broadway, um, uh, Dear Evan Hansen, right, and the yes. Yankee game? How has it yes. been so far in town? It's been amazing. SummerSlam week feels like WrestleMania week with all the talent in town uh, having appearances all over the city. WWE has literally taken over New York. Takeover Saturday, SummerSlam Sunday. Raw, Brooklyn, SmackDown. Brooklyn, just, yeah, just it's great. everywhere. And, and it is like a mini WrestleMania mm -hmm. and including the card. And your match in particular, before I get into that triple threat, though, I think a lot of fans, especially of yours, want to know what the robe will oh, look like. Um, Have you seen it? Yes. Is it? It wasn't finished yet. Okay. But uh, the train was finished. Uh, my, I'll, okay. I teased a picture of the gear. It's ombre, pink to purple, but the robe is absolutely, it's incredible. Better than anything we've ever seen? Well, I think the entrance made the WrestleMania robe so special, okay. but this one, I think, it's just gonna it's gonna pop. Okay. Uh, yeah. That's like really exciting when you when you come out in that robe, um, and I know that fans are really looking forward to that. And now fans are also split because this is a tough match, I think, oh. for you, because not only is it Becky your friend, and it's the championship is on the line, Carmella. Is there a scenario in which you guys can have this match and still be friends afterwards? You and Becky? So I think that's why Becky and I are so close is because we want the same things and wrestling means so much to both of us and we're very competitive and we push each other. So yeah, I think uh, you hit your friends harder, especially your best friends. And I don't think that there's gonna be hurt feelings. There's nothing more than I want. Not There's nothing that I want more than to have to see Becky succeed and she deserves a championship uh she's one of the hardest workers I know but the other side of it is from day one um I always want to be the champion uh I want to be the best and that has nothing to do with our friendship so it's just we're on the same brand it just so happens that we're gonna have to face each other but um, if she wins, I'm going to be ecstatic for her. And it's, and it's going to make me have to work that much harder. And Carmela, obviously, sort of the hometown person, Staten Island. Uh, does your strategy change at all for a triple threat when you have two other people as opposed to the one-on-one? -on -one? How do you go into the match like this? So WrestleMania 32 uh, was a triple threat. I've been in high-pressure situations before. Uh, and this is no different, but I think for Carmella, uh, she's beaten me twice, so I think it's uh, a little bit of time for payback. And she's let you know a few times. Oh, she's let me know. That, that Trust she me. has those wins. Yes. She's got sort of that New York swag in the ring with uh, yeah. you know, some of the, the bravado that she throws around in there. How much fun is it for you as a fan um, for an event like this uh, when you're not participating? I mean, is there any matches that you really look forward to watching? Well, Ronda Rousey versus Alexa Bliss, 100%. Uh, there could be a new champion. Ronda's never been the WWE Women's Champion before, so uh, I'm excited to see what happens there. Uh, AJ Styles, Samoa Joe, Roman Reigns, Brock Lesnar. I'm like, well, will Roman Just win? I, finally? I mean, I'm excited to see. Yeah. 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 It's, a, it's a great card, and... So you obviously are, are no stranger to the ring. You've won every title. You won the first woman's Hell in a Cell. Is there anything that you haven't accomplished that you really want to in the WWE? I say this every interview, so I sound like a broken record, but I want a main event WrestleMania. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's my end goal. And then with the all-women's pay-per-view in October, yeah. Evolution, I... I think for that, my goal is to let everyone watching know that there's only one queen in the WWE. So that's what I want people to take away. I think a lot of, I don't know if you pay attention to any of the WWE blogs or the pundits out there, but they are, there's a lot of whispers that they want to see you and Ronda 
in WrestleMania for a title in a title match. Has that ever crossed your mind? I I would I want to face her. Mm-hmm. That has crossed my mind. I think when I think about WrestleMania and headlining, I think of the biggest stories, the biggest stars. So I just know in order to be in the main event picture, it would take the right storyline. You so, have to have the right build up to it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you you have a great build up to this. Obviously, Carmelo's the champion. You want the championship. You and Becky are friends. There's so much happening. Triple threat. And oh. three weeks ago, I didn't even think I was going to be on SummerSlam. Right. Because unfortunately, I had to take a few weeks off. Um, so I was like, oh, man, I'm not going to make it. And it would be the second SummerSlam in a row that I wasn't on the card. And for me, that's like, well, SummerSlam is the second biggest pay-per-view, it looks like, of the year. And I'm going to not be on it. So when I got that opportunity, I was just like, I have to get on that show. Is it a switch for you when you have a shorter time to prepare for something? Can you just turn it on and get ready to go into the ring? Well, I'm kind of always on. Okay. <laughs> um, so for me, it was just I was nervous that I only had three weeks to get um, back in shape from not being able to work out for six weeks. Mm-hmm. But uh, I'm like, okay, I got two more days. But after my match... Um, Becky and I had a tag match against the Iconics and I felt crisp I felt ready um, so I I think all I needed was three weeks okay uh, and on a maybe more of a non-light note uh, Jim the Anvil Nightheart obviously passed away recently um, what was it like in the WWE you know uh, atmosphere being with everybody and how's Natty and how's that situation I think everyone's heart just breaks for Natty. Talk about someone that she's the standard bearer behind the curtain and in front of the curtain for the women's division and she always takes care of everyone and to know that she's hurting as much as she is right now and how much she loves her family and how much they mean to her. Um, I just think we all want to let her know that she can lean on us this time because for so many years she's been taking care of all of us and her family. So it's just my heart breaks for her. And you guys travel constantly with each other. It, it's a, is it a, it's like a family, right? It is. Yeah. Everybody's 100%. very close mm-hmm. despite all of the things that go so on. So we can talk bad about each other, but you can't talk about them it's like the family rule like i can talk bad about my dad but you can't if i'm not in the circle (laughs) i gotta leave you guys alone that's how it is yeah for us yeah well i want to remind everyone that SummerSlam is this sunday Mm -hmm. in brooklyn yes fourth time in a row yes and also next on saturday Oh, NXT, NXT on Saturday, yes. TakeOver. Tickets are yeah. still available on Ticketmaster. Yeah. Same with Raw and SmackDown and Raw, in Brooklyn. And SmackDown Tickets Brooklyn. are still still available. Right. SummerSlam sold out, but you can catch it on the WWE Network right. live. And uh, yeah, it's going to be quite a weekend. All right, so everyone, if you don't have your tickets, go to Ticketmaster. And Charlotte, thanks so much. Such a pleasure. Thank Appreciate you. your time. Thanks Thank for you. having me. All right, guys.